Welcome back to the channel. Apologies for not getting any videos out probably for the last six weeks since we did put a video out. We've been really busy doing something. I'm not going to say too much about it because there is a video coming which will explain why we haven't managed to get any videos out to you guys. Um, Christmas has literally just gone so it's a bit of a late one but Merry Christmas from both of us. Merry Christmas to everybody who watches yep. the channel. Merry Christmas. The New Year is now just around the corner. Um, like I say, there is a video coming explaining why we haven't had our videos out and we are going to carry on putting the videos up in order of the uh, campsites that we actually visited. So just bear with us, there's more videos coming. Yes, definitely. So, so this video is on Hollandswood campsite, another one with camping in the forest sites. Um, it's probably about the biggest site I think we've ever stayed on, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. It's a huge, massive site. So we've only done a small portion of it, um, just to show you a few parts of the actual campsite it's itself. Long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's long enough, it is. It's a big site, it's a really good site, so if you think of it staying down at Hollandswood or any of the camping the forest sites, this will give you a little bit of a taste of what it's all about. That's the entrance to Hollandswood. So they must be allowed barbecues here because they've got barbecue bricks. And on that sign there. Yeah. So they've got to be off the floor. Yeah, barbecues got to be off the floor, so we are allowed barbecues. And that's Turn there. this round. Gates open 7.30, close at 10.30, so if you go out with your motorhome, you've got to be back before 10.30, but if you're on foot, you're right, you can still get back in. But yeah, close to vehicles after half time. You've got your barriers there, they get locked. So, it's a quiet zone between 10.30 and 7.30. There's a defibrillator, which is good. Barbecue policy. There you go. These are, oh, these are all the different deer, so that's a fallow deer. Rose gone, silk must be the female, I think, I presume. And they've also, look, look here, they've got an overnight stay. So what that means, maybe you pay less for an overnight stay, do you think? Just a one night. Must be if people were in late, maybe, or something like that. Somebody else just checking in, so this is the entrance to Hollandswood. And then if we just turn around this way, that is the drive right down the site. So I was just saying how big this site is. It's huge, isn't it? It's a really big site. Yeah, it's a big site. I would say if you come in, try and stick to the right hand side of the of the, um, the pictures. Because you're right over, if you've got dogs as well, you're right over by the field. Might you might home. Over a little bridge, let them off, let them have a blast. And also, Make sure you pick your dog poo up because we found some this morning. It's quite annoying. You can see it's beautiful. Through there, there's a massive field where you can just let your dogs off. Exercise them right over into the woods. These red things are the fire hydrants. There's no campfires allowed here at all. Obviously, you're in the middle of the forest and it's not a good idea. That's coming down the main drag. The speed bumps are very uh, high, so be careful over them if you're yeah. coming in here. Big speed bumps. <laughs> Somebody over there. That's quite a nice picture over there, isn't it? It is, yeah, that was really taken when we open, came in. There's another nice pitch in there. You can see, I don't know if you can see the new forest ponies through the gap there. This is a nice spot here, you could drive in here and have oh, a quick, yeah, quite yeah. a nice spot, couldn't you? Yeah. You know, I mean, there's nothing stopping you changing your mind and moving. Nope, absolutely nothing. You can move around as if much as you want. If you're here for a few nights. I'll give you a tip it's not regimented. Here, that's what you're looking for when it comes to water. Yeah, this is your water thing here. So if you're, you're not that able-bodied, try and get yourself near one of these. That's your water. And they say if you leave your motor home or you take your motor home with you, just leave a marker. Obviously, because it is wild camping, everyone's got a choice of where they want to go. So, if you don't mark out your spot, by the time you get back, it might be gone. That's my own. A nice tree behind it as well. Yeah. It's like a wigwam. Again, that's a really spacious, bright kind of pitch, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's right in the sun. Trees. Yeah. Well, you don't get many midges, to be fair. No. There was a few last night, about nine o'clock, but nothing major. Certainly not like Scotland. That's a lovely tree, that. So, yeah. 
Got a squirrel. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't run in front of the bike. <laughs> Some happy campers there. Little squirrel. Oh, cute. Look at him. Hello, hello. Off the main driveway, we're going to go left now. This is towards the main road. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but you might hear that road noise. What we've got is the first one of three kind of shower blocks. <coughs> Showers and toilets. The reason why we're doing this is because we went online on YouTube to find anything about Holland's Wood and all we could find was some recycling around on a bike that didn't kind of tell you too much about the actual campsite and mm -hmm. how it's laid out. Just right over that way. We're not going to go down there. Like I say, it's such a big site. This video could be hours long, couldn't it? Yeah. So, if we take a wander, we can just show them the toilet blocks quickly. Yep. Uh, I don't know if there's any washing facilities in here, some washing machines. I don't think there is. No, I don't think there's any. So, there's Not the sure. Toilets, Might showers. be wrong. I don't think there's any washing facilities. I don't know whether you want to nip in the men's and just show them the men's. Not really. No? Oh, oh no, not with a camera, that's yeah. not very wise. <laughs> that's not going to look well. So ladies, gents, looks like they've got baby changing facilities. Um, let's see what else they've got around here. Ah, it must be ladies toilets, ladies showers, baby changing. <clears throat> and you can see every time you come to actually touch anything, like a wooden gateway, they've really thought about this. Sanitizers, which is great because you don't always see that. There we go, more camping over there. I do find it hard to find the water. There we go, there's one straight in front of us. Yeah. They're not so obvious where they are, they're not on the shower toilet blocks. You can see the little wooden surround over there, and there where you get your water from. There's a few through the site, isn't there? They could do with that, yeah. say, being a, a few more. I'll tell you what, there is plenty of, there's plenty of bins. Right, you see if you look right through there. Wow, it goes right through there as well. Yeah, somebody's camping through there. This is what camping in the forest is all about. This site literally has got so much wildlife coming through. Oh, and just looking ahead, I'm not sure if we're going to get there before the ponies move on. But there's some wild ponies just wandering through the site. And we saw that yesterday, didn't we? It was wild cattle. And Yep. We've seen all sorts just wandering through the site. You've got to remember this is their home. Yeah, like the donkeys yesterday that really weren't for moving. Two motorhomes and they did not want to shift. No. Much to the school children's delight, they were standing at the gates giggling as mm -hmm. we were beating at the donkeys, gently beating at them. I know they weren't for moving. It's quite funny. Definitely not. That's weird, that caravan, isn't it? It's like they've put another roof on it and now they're in the roof. <laughs> Yeah, an old one. Yeah. Sometimes the old ones are the best. Ah, there's us over there. Oh, there's, us, there's our picture. We're going to go a bit further up the site because we've not done this yet ourselves. So. so that's us there on the right and then Bill, my dad's on the left. He's having an afternoon siesta. So we'll show you a bit more what our pitch is like and that, that nice walk that's dead opposite. Just to give you an idea when you're camping, that what will literally just come walking past your camping unit. We had donkeys one year, didn't we? Put our heads through the yeah. door. We had a stable door on our old mountain. That's right, stable door was open. We were busy working away. Next thing we've got three heads. I swear if the door had been open, they'd have come in. <laughs> <laughs> they probably would. Now you're not supposed to feed them. You're not supposed or to disturb, pet them, pet them or anything like that. They can be. <clears throat> but this is literally within the campsite. And if you come to camping in the forest sites, you will see this all the time. Beautiful ponies. Here we go. They're under the tree because they know it's going to rain, don't you? There's a shower toilet block. I'm just cleaning it all out of there. Here we go. We'll get you in a little bit closer. These guys just literally walk around the site. There's quite a few of them as you walk around. Hello. Ah, looks like a nice walk up there, huh? Straight ahead. Oh yeah? Yeah. 
Go and have a look. Now then, if you look in there, you've got people with small tents in there and there's literally a pony eating the grass right next to them. We've had herds of cattle coming through. And it is, if you want to get a site that's just purely back to nature. But like I say, facility wise, no electric hookup. So here's a basic site. I say we absolutely love it. Here we go, more ponies. Oh, another one over there. Here we go. Is that the tent area there? That might be the tent area there or a fenced off area, but what a big site, guys. Lots of choice. Yeah, nice motor home there. And then this way, this is coming out of the site. This is the very back of the site. So there's a cycle route and walkway. And we've not actually been down this. There we go. More hand sanitizers on the bins. More new forest ponies. Is he chewing away? There's another one. You'll see this all the time walking across the paths. And what they say is don't feed, don't pet, don't bother them. And there we go. This is out of the campsite. But well, that looks like a beautiful walk down through the forest, but I'll be honest, we haven't actually been down there. More or less, we're camped. It's quite away from reception. There's our nearest toilet shower block. There's somebody just coming out. Or maybe just arriving at. Oh no, they just arrived, didn't they? So we're going to show you now. <laughs> Spoilt for choice. It is quite difficult to find a pitch. Try not to get too flustered like we do. My dad just wants to get to the nearest spot straight away, nearest toilets. And you're like, there's plenty more to see around here. Well, Debbie's more fussy about, well, I don't know about this one. What about that one? What about that one? <laughs> that one's got a couple of pockets. And I mean, look back where we started. Yeah, right. We um, cut yeah, we'll cut across. There's, there's our bins. That's our nearest bins. So we're cutting across now, and I'll show you the mega walk that you've got for your dogs so that's us there that's my dad's and we put the oh dear dead bird there Oof. yeah we put the awning out because it was going to rain so that's us that's my dad and this is the field and we just cross over here See, there's a little bridge because there's, like there's like a ditch so for drainage. You'll see it down there. Down there, there's the ditch starts, and then the drain goes all the way down there. And then over here, there's a lovely little bridge to walk across. You just walk across here. There's this humongous open field. This isn't part of a camping area, so you can't just come up, rock up and pitch a tent. There's the ditch I was telling you about, so that's the drainage. <clears throat> Both sides. And then here is your field. And it is stunning. You can see in the distance cows, horses. They're all loose. They don't bother you. Look, this will be taking the dogs for a walk now. Yeah. Pan around. And there we are, in the trees. So, so would we, would we go on? Well, hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into Hollandswood because we couldn't find anything online. Um, would we stay here again? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Downsides to it? I'd say the only thing I find is a downside is no electric hook up. Yeah, but, but they tell you that we knew that we knew that before we came. You're in the forest. We've we got a generator, but to be honest, mm. we haven't heard one going, so we're a bit yeah. loath to put it on. Great site for dogs. Um, if you've got heavy rain, could it be a bit muddy? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, the pathways, the driveways are really good. They're all they're hard all stone. sand and hard stone. But so as you can see, we had good. rain last night. There's a bit of a puddle. So <coughs> that'd be a bit muddy. But it's you not guys, bad. Guys, reception really helpful. 
Um, it's great how there's no pitch numbers, it's not regimented, you can pitch up wherever you want, as long as you're six metres from somebody else. Yeah, really and the like staff that. seem really friendly as well. Yep, and really cheap. So we'll just turn off and uh, sign out. Hi, good morning, if you've just joined us. Time for us to leave this site, we're now leaving Hollandswood, we're heading That's for right, Penzance. Yeah. And what I thought is we'd just leave the camera rolling on the dashboard. And what you'll see is a bit more of Hollandswood as we head towards the exit. Catch you in a minute. Hi. Yeah, I think it's working. Yeah. <laughs> this is us. Wandering wilds, we're back again. Oh, I need to take my glasses off. Hi, we're back again. Um, sorry we've been ages. We're not doing this now, are we? <laughs> yeah. No, hang on. This. Hang on. Right. Cut. No. Um, we've not... We've not been... What have we not been doing? Not been doing anything really. No, we've not posted any videos on YouTube for a while because we've been busy. We've been sat on our arse. We've got, no, we've been on a mission. Got to stop one of the dogs has farted. It freaking stinks. <laughs> 